everybody, Susie Kew here and welcome to Kew Aquatics and Exotic. And today I want to talk about these fish. Crypto Hero Nanoludius. And that stands for crypto meaning hidden or sneaky. Hero meaning South American cichlids. Nano meaning small. And luteus meaning yellow. So they're my hidden Central American cichlids that are small and yellow. Also called yellow convicts and they do happen to be on the cares list. I've gotten these fish over a year ago and I mix them early on with some blue dolphins. Not realizing because I also on the same night got six small fry that were blue dolphins. Also known as the Cerdicara mori, which are from Lake Malawi in Africa. Because from when I came home from the auction, there was a lot of fry. It was in the middle of the night. I accidentally put fry in a tank that already had fry in it. I thought it was, I had set up six tanks for a fish. So, you know, you go to your yearly auction at your local fish club, you're bound to get some cool looking fish. I didn't realize it until after they were all mixed together. But since they were all fry, I let them grow up a little bit. And as they moved over the blue dolphins, I kept the nanoluteus in this 20 gallon long. But there were two fry that have been in there with them for the whole year that I can just now identify. I knew right from the start that they weren't the nanoluteus, but I also knew that they weren't the blue cichlids. They weren't the blue dolphins. Well, I should say they didn't look like the blue dolphins. And I didn't think that they were because they were so much smaller and they didn't grow, whereas the blue dolphins grew and are now in this 55 gallon tank. And then they started getting some coloration. And it was quite clear to me that they are also the blue dolphins. Let's take a closer look at these yellow convicts. I think they're really gorgeous fish. I have had the nanoluteus for a year now and they are spectacular. I was, wasn't even actually sure if they were all nanoluteus because of the more research I was doing, they were beautiful yellow with red tinge on the fins with black barring. And only one of mine had black barring for the longest time. But now as they're maturing, I have two over here with black barring and I think the black barring comes in as they mature. It must come in as they mature. I th happen to think these are absolutely gorgeous fish. They've been in this 20 gallon long for a year and I'm going to be upgrading them and putting them in my 40 gallon breeder with my Tetras, my Buenos Aires Tetras. The first thing I have to do is get these uh, Blue Doll, the Cerro Mori out of here and in, in that 55 gallon tank and I want to make sure as I put them in that nobody picks on them because that, they're a little bit smaller and then I'm going to take these and move them over to my the 40 gallon breeder that I just set up with my tetras, tetras. So this is the 55 gallon tank that I put the blue morais and the two frontosas I have. The frontosas are from Lake, Lake Tanganyika and the blue morais are from Lake Malawi. All right, let me add the little fry and see how that works. Okay, so I've re removed all the decor. So now that they're a little bit bigger, it's pretty easy to see that these are the uh, morai cichlids, the blue dolphins. So I'm going to acclimate them into the blue dolphin tank and see how it goes. It looks like they're over here behind the bridge. I'll keep an eye on them for a little bit. The two little ones are chilling out together. The frontosas aren't bothering them. Yeah, that's right. Stay over there, guys. There's your cave right there. Nobody has that cave, that's all for you. There you go. Stay in that cave, stay in that area. Clear over there. Perfect. So let's get back to my Karis fish. So they're not looking so good in this, uh, this little bowl. Let's let's get them acclimated. So I hope this tank looks familiar. This is my 40 gallon breeder that I put my Buenos Aires Tetris in. 
And there's also some, some little ember tetras as well. So let's get the carrots fish. We'll let them float in there. Their temperature was the exact same, but I'll let them acclimate to the water a little bit. Let me just get a little bit more of this tank water in here. They are absolutely beautiful fish. Just keep, keep putting a little bit more of the new tank water in. So their coloration isn't the best right now because they're a little upset for me netting them out. As you can tell, they're a beautiful yellow with some pink to them with the black barring. And the one's out. Okay, I'm starting to do a water change on this tank. I'm going to probably do a 50% water change. Look at that little blue black spot on her dorsal fin. Pretty good indication that that's a female. You see that? These guys eat a variety of food. They eat anywhere from pellets, crisps, flakes, krill. They'll eat just about, so far they've eaten anything I've put in the tank. I'm also going to put a hide. I'm going to put this hide in there in the back because if they pair off, they're going to want a little place they can go. So while they're getting acclimated, they look like they're getting frantic. Maybe I should help them out a little bit. Let me see if I can get some lighting over here. So while I'm changing the water on this tank, well, let me tell you a little bit about the CARES program. These are my first CARES fish. And the CARES is a conservation, awareness, recognition, and responsibility, encouragement, and education, and support, and sharing. Okay. I'm going to read this so I don't get it wrong. The purpose of the CARES Preservation Program is to encourage hobbyists worldwide to devote tank space to one or more species at risk or at risk and distribute their offspring to fellow qualified hobbyists while forming an information network where possible between aquarists, scientists, and conservationists. So I've got six CARES fry, like I said a year ago, in my local fish club. It's my responsibility to grow them up and try to breed them. And then I will bring six of those fry back to my local fish club for somebody else to do the same. So there's a couple classifications that the fish could be in. It could be in near threatened, vulnerable, endangered, critically endangered, or extinct in the wild. So they can go into all different classifications. This particular fish, trying to get to this information is not always easy. All right, I better go back to the CARES website because I can't find it. List by families, there we go. So let's start with cichlids, cichlidae. We start with cichlids and then we're gonna go to crypto, crypto hero, huh? I don't see that in here at all, interesting. Okay, so for the novice, it's not as easy finding out. So I get to the priority list, cichlidae cichlids, and then I have to know the species, which I thought was cryptoheroes. Amatitliana nanolutus. That sounds familiar. Okay, so I said it was cryptohero. The species is Amatitliania nanolutus. Ah, here we go. So in 1994, it was Arcocentris nanoluteus. Then in 2001, it was reclassified as Crypto Heroes nanoluteus. And in 2016, it was reclassified as Amatitlania nanoluteus. So those are all mouthfuls. So I stand corrected. In 2016, they were reclassified, which is why I couldn't find them on the CARES list, as Amatitliana nanoluteus. But this doesn't say what it's classified as. So let's go back. Amatitliana nanoluteus. Classification CVU. Let's go back to priority list and see what CVU is. CVU is vulnerable. So these are on the CARES list as vulnerable. So remember there was near threatened, then vulnerable, then endangered, then criti critically endangered, and then extinct in the wild. Whew. So I'm thinking the more experience you get in working with the CARES fish and in the CARES program, the language becomes easier to speak. But I can only share my experience, and this is my first experience with CARES fish, and it was hard for me. <laughs> but I think I'm, I'm getting it now. So first I had to look up what the classifications were. If you want to see if your fish is on the CARES priority list, there's only a few things you would need to know. So you need to know the family name, then you need to know the species name, and then it'll give you the classification code, and then you can go back to the classification list and see what the classification they're in. Amatitlania 
It's, it really is much easier to say yellow complex, but Amitidlania, Nanaludia. Nanaludia still means small and yellow. So, and I know Cryptohero meant sneaky and South American. I don't know what Amitidliana stands for yet. Mm -hmm. So let me turn the water back on, get some safe in here. This is a little bit more than a 50% water changer, which is what I was aiming for. Thanks guys, thanks for coming out and checking out my CARES fish. I think they're gonna love their new home and I hope you check into getting some CARES fish yourself. Thanks and I'll see you next time.